This electric bike has a current price tag that's under $300, which is insanely affordable and might honestly be the best electric bike for its price. Okay guys, so this is how the Winden S14 electric bike is packaged. And I must say, I'm actually really surprised with how small the box is. Anyway, let's do a little unboxing. There it is. This electric bike majorly compacts down to a small size. They definitely did a good job protecting the bike in the packaging. Forget the blade. Where is the kickstand? There it is. Come on, like that. They give you a little toolkit. S14 electric bike manual. Two amp charger. Oh yes, bike pedals stuck on there. Ugh. Ouch. It is kind of cold. This is not a heated warehouse. All right, that is the unboxing of the S14 electric bike. It was actually really easy to assemble. Let's get this thing charging. I still cannot get over how small this electric bike is. It's crazy. Like how compact, how small it compacts down to anyway. Super fast and easy setup. So we're here at a beautiful park in Ohio and let's go for a bike ride. The disc brakes work very well. One feature I really like with electric rides like this that they include is a horn. Let's say you encounter a vehicle or some kind of dangerous situation where you just need to warn someone. I think that's very nice. So, so far it has recorded a 3.1 mile trip. We just dropped down to two bars. Now I've taken this off road a little bit in the grass to set up a camera or something like that. So that probably takes a little bit more toll on the battery. Overall, I'd say the riding experience is very smooth and it helps with the dual shock absorbers. You have a middle shock and front shocks. I feel like that the light is a little weak. I always like a nice bright light for electric rides. I've gotten it up to 21 miles an hour. I've purchased $300 scooter, electric scooters in the past before that do not go as fast. They don't get as much range. I also think it's got really great acceleration, but it's a key start. Um, I don't know if all electric bikes are like that, but I actually, I really love key start electric rides, whether it's a scooter, or an electric bike. So far, I've got to say, I'm very impressed with the electric bike. First, I wanna mention a few things that you don't get with this price tag. Number one being that this bike has no gears. One other thing that isn't necessarily a problem since this bike is geared for being a city street bike is that it's a little bumpy off-road. Uh, so yeah, I just 
recommend staying on paved roads. Another thing is the light is a little too weak. I think it could be brighter. And the last thing is more of a flaw, a design flaw I would say, is the charger port is a little awkward getting the charger plug to get in there. But now I'm gonna go ahead and go over some specs with this electric bike. This has a 350 watt motor, which gets you about 28 miles of range. It has a top speed of about 19 miles per hour with just the pure power of the throttle, no pedaling. But when I was out testing it today, I got it up to about 21. This bike has two 14 inch tires, 2.1 inches thick. Comes equipped with front and middle suspension, which actually work very well for a smooth ride. Max payload capacity, it can handle 265 pounds. And the body of this electric bike is all made out of aluminum. Like I think even the mud guards are made out of metal. One thing I wanna mention when you're assembling this electric bike is to make sure all your nuts and bolts bolts are well tightened around the seat in particular. When I took it around for its first spin, I noticed that it was adjusting while I was riding it, but I made sure to tighten those real nice. Overall, I think the electric bike is a pretty solid ride. I like it a lot. Anyway, guys, give this video a like, and if you enjoy this content, then be sure to check out my channel, Isaiah Good, linked in the video description below. Subscribe to this channel as well, click the bell, and let me know what you think in the comment sections below. See you guys. Uh, yeah.